Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and I want to make all the things. <laughs> so hi guys, I have a list here of all the things that I want to make this summer and you know, spoiler alert, I've actually already got a start on some of these, but I wanted to share with you 10 patterns. Some of them are brand new, a few of them are free, um, but 10 patterns that I wanna make for summer. Now, disclaimer, I do not limit myself to this list. I do not have to complete this list before I make anything else. And if I wanna take something off this list and move it to fall, I'm going to do that. But I thought that you guys would really enjoy seeing some of the patterns and maybe it would spur you on to make a list for yourself of 10 things you'd like to make for summer. So for the most part, I also have a pile of fabrics here to show you. Uh, two of them I think are new that you guys haven't seen before, um, and some of them are new-ish if you haven't watched me for a while. Um, I did have my birthday on the 1st of May, and so I did get myself a little birthday fabric little birthday shopping, um, just a little bit, and so I have that to show you as well. Okay, so these are all indie patterns. I also have a list of Berta patterns and Petrones patterns that I'm considering, but I'm gonna put that in a separate video. And good news, just a little side note, if you have been itching to try Petrones, they have now started offering some of their patterns um, uh, like a la carte in PDF form, and I think they're 2.95 a piece, so uh, 2.95 euros a piece, so that's a really good deal. Also, a little update on Puppy. Puppy is doing great. She's three months old now. She is finally sleeping through the night, which means I am finally getting back to normal. And I'll put a little video at the end so you can see Marta. Oh, that was Marta. <laughs> Okay, so here is my list of 10 patterns that I am making this summer. Number one on this list is the Pattern Emporium Sea Change Jumpsuit. So I have not made this before. You guys know I love Pattern Emporium patterns. I test for them, and whenever I test for them, they give you a pattern for free, which I think is a really nice and classy thing to do because people are spending not only their time, but also their fabric to make up a pattern. And yes, they get that pattern, but I think giving someone an extra pattern is classy and kind and ultimately is good for the designer because most of the people who are participating in a test are probably posting things online and so it's good publicity so win 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 okay so the sea change jumpsuit i'll put in some pictures is just a nice flowy jumpsuit slash play suit for summer i'm planning to do the jumpsuit version jumpsuit version and i think i'm going to do it in this you guys have probably seen this a bunch of times that's not the right color it's 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 kind of a dark it's more like that it's quite a dark kind of mottled gray um i've had this since i got to spain a friend i bought it off a friend who sent it to me and it's still been sitting here for two two years almost three years so uh, i finally want to use it it's nice and light i like the hemp because it's just so nice for summer and so i want to do that now what i may do is alter the neckline and use you know the field of dreams which is the my favorite dress pattern that i'll put a video uh, a link to the video in case you missed it i may end up changing the the bodice so that it's not v-neck i might do straight across just because it's already heating up here quite a lot I, I wouldn't be surprised if where you're watching from it's also heating up let me know below if you guys are also having a little early heat wave um but i think that this kind of light flowy fabric will work i just want a little more sun coverage so there's that number two is the stephanie dress by made for mermaids so this is a brand new pattern and i saw someone make this on instagram and i was like yes yes it's a exactly what I want. So I'll put in some pictures, especially the line drawings, because there are lots of options. And I thought this was really, really cute. It's in a knit fabric. And I have this beautiful, soft, uh, I think it's a viscose jersey, but I'll, I'll write it down below if it's not. This is like a raspberry color. This was from the fabric sales. This is part of my birthday haul, mini haul. And if you remember the fabric sales is who I did my fall capsule with. And so I just bought this last, uh, last week or no, sorry, last month at the end of the month. And it is dreamily soft, like so soft. So I'm looking forward to making this and making it hopefully with a built-in bra is the plan. Um, yeah. So for summer, I really, really prefer a built-in bra if I can get away with it because it's just less, less sweaty, less uncomfortable. Great pattern, lots of versions. I picked it up in the sale they had when they first started 
and uh, yeah, head over and have a look at that one. Next is the Zoe Tank and Dress by True Bias. This is a pretty new pattern, and spoiler alert, I have already done one version of this, so if you wanna see some of the things that I've already made on this list, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, I'll put it right here, and then you'll see things, because basically as I make something, I can't wait to post it. So even if I don't put it in my grid, I'll often do sort of a, a, a less produced picture in my stories. So definitely follow me over there for little previews. But for this one, I have this black, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, it's a black uh, ribbed jersey. This is from Meter Meter. This is a four euro, 450 euro remnant that I got uh, last year. And I've already made the Zoe out of this and I know for sure that it works out of this length. I think this is only 30 centimeters and I can get a tank out of it. So I think I'm going to make another one out of this. I definitely wanna try the dress version as well. Um, I, don't, I don't know out of what yet, but the dress version looks amazing. The Sew Over It Culottes, Ultimate Culottes. Now, this is one that I'm not 100% sure on. I definitely want another pair of culottes. I have a pair of culottes that I'll put a picture of that's actually the bottom half of the V9075 jumpsuit that I made years ago probably like 2017 2018 and i wear them all the time in the summer they're also a hemp cotton fabric and they're so light and flowy and they're perfect when it's really hot out sometimes actually culottes are better than a skirt because like i mean i don't want to get too graphic but hot sweaty skirt culottes give you a little bit more <laughs> am i making myself clear so I definitely want another pair of culottes. Uh, so I'm thinking of the ultimate culottes. Um, I don't have a for sure fabric in that yet. I have one coming up that is a maybe. Uh, I could also do it in this same hemp. I don't know, but culottes are definitely on the list. Another new pattern is the Enmore by uh, Liesl & Co. And I think I mentioned it last time. This is another one that I have already made up a first version of. And if you head over to my Instagram, you'll see it. I'm going to do um, a video with all the sewing I've done lately in a little bit, but I only had time to kind of hop on for a little bit and didn't have time to like shoot all of my outfits and things that I've been working on. So <laughs> puppies, that one's not mine. <laughs> So if you want a preview, you can head over to my Instagram for that. But the Enmore is a top and dress with a built-in bra in different cup sizes in woven. And that's something I hadn't seen before. I've seen built-in bras in, you know, knit, knit mm, patterns before, but not in a woven. So this was really interesting to me. And so I actually did contact Liesl of Liesl & Co. And I asked her for a review copy so that I could review this pattern. So you'll see that coming up, but I would like to make a second version. Uh, I made the top version just to check the fit. And uh, I ended up deciding I want to go up another cup size in the in the built-in bra. I did a B and I think I actually need a C. So that was good to discover. I'm going to use this beautiful Atelier Brunette viscose. I got this as a gift from Nunoya when I went down when they uh, opened their store. They're now in a different location and uh, the lovely Sean gifted me this beautiful fabric. So I'm going to make another dress out of this. I'm going to make another and more. I have it. I have this fabric actually in it's like a caramel. I'll put in a picture. I made the Sun dress last year and actually I just wore that dress yesterday because I, I made it at the end of the season. I didn't get a ton of chances to wear it. Oh, it's so nice. It's so breathable. So I'm expecting this to be the same thing. So this will be a really pretty dress. I mentioned you guys that I want to make the Gilbert top by Helen's Closet. I have it fully cut out, printed, put together here. So that will be coming up soon. And uh, this pattern I bought during their sale, they had a sale, I don't know, maybe six months ago or something. And I picked it up and I, because I, every time I swear I'm flipping through Instagram and I see a shirt of that kind. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I love that. It's always the Gilbert. So finally I was like, break down, purchased it. And if you'll remember, I have this gorgeous linen from the sale, um, from the Toronto sale that my friend brought me the fabric just the other week. And I think I can squeak out a Gilbert out of this. It's, this piece is irregular, but but I think I can make it work. So I also had the possibility, and some of you guys mentioned of me doing it in this fabric, but I'll be honest, I, I wouldn't wear it in this. It would, 
that would just be a pure a uh, pure twill, and I don't want to waste this fabric on this because this is really nice made in Japan fabric. I'd rather use it as a, a romper for Lily or something like that. So I'm going to try to get it out of this and we shall see. Another new pattern is the Evelyn by Chalk and Notch. So you, if you do follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me post this photo because I was trying to find a pattern that has that sort of very simple silhouette, but with a slit, um, up, up the leg and it seemed like I should be able to find it anywhere and I couldn't really find it anywhere and then this literally debuted maybe a week later and I thought it's a sign I'm gonna pick that up during their debut sale premiere sale and I want to make there's two versions there's a version that you might want to do in a heavier fabric and it has buttons down the side then there's a mini mini skirt version and then there's the long version that just has an elastic back and you can use do that in a lighter fabric so I have this really cute viscose this also came from uh, the fabric sales I can't remember this might have been Inez de la Fressange um, it might have been some of her dead stock and it's got a different texture than I anticipated. It's, I don't know how to describe it. I suppose it's a little bit crepey, I suppose, um, but really pretty, kind of French. And I just think a red skirt for summer will always come in handy because I have a lot of black and a lot of white. And so I think this would go well. So I'm hoping to squeak this out. It will be a squeak because I don't, I definitely have less fabric than recommended. So stay tuned if I manage to use my tips from this video here to get the most out of my fabric and get one of these cute little Evelyn skirts. So here's a free pattern is the Sky Shorts by Peppermint Magazine. A, these, this is maybe from two issues ago, so it's not too, too old. Uh, just lovely swingy skirt, flat front, elastic back, which I love. I, I generally, elastic front on a, on, a, on a pair of pants or shorts or a skirt, I generally don't find looks great on me. Um, so I like to try and keep it so that the back is elasticated, but not the front. So I have this beautiful fabric that I got last year. Um, it's a remnant from Guthrie and Ghani. And it's funny because initially when I saw it, I thought, ooh, that's a little gaudy. <laughs> I might not wear it. But now that I realize it, there's so many colors in here that I can pick out with tops that it would be the perfect shorts or skirt. And so I could also consider this for the Evelyn as well. I have to see what I have. You know, I like to be flexible in my, my plans because I don't want to feel like, oh, I, I, I have to, have to, have to get this pattern out of this piece of fabric because, you know, it, it sometimes doesn't work out that way and then I'm disappointed. So I really like to be flexible in my plans, but a pair of those sky shorts, I think is going to be so practical in my wardrobe and I'm really looking forward to them. And then two more free patterns for undergarments. So I did an order from Studio Costura, which is a Spanish company, but they send their products from Estonia. Um, I think the, the founder is Estonian, but she lives in Spain and she designs beautiful uh, lingerie. So my Hannah bikini from last summer is from her and I'm going to do, I, so I, I went onto her website and I ordered some of the elastic lingerie elastic lingerie um, strapping all that kind of stuff and so I want to do start off with some free little patterns before I really delve deeply so I'm gonna make two free patterns number one is the hyacinth bra by Olulu really simple really easy honestly what I like to wear most and I'm just gonna use so I recently cut the sleeves off of a, of a Mime dress that actually I cut the sleeves off two me made dresses, but I'll tell you more about that next time. And so I have these little bits of gray cotton jersey, perfect for a little bra. Um, and so I'm gonna start there and use fabrics that I have around from, um, from leftovers before I actually buy, buy any, you know, stretch mesh or, or anything like that. And then the other thing on the same token is the pattern by the scrappy thong and I didn't write down who that's by. I'll put it down here. It's also a free pattern and it, the whole point of it is to use your scraps. So I have, for instance, um, the, these little scraps from the end of my first Zoe um, that I can put together with what I'm assuming will be the scraps of the other Zoe <laughs> and do either a little bra or a little scrappy thong. And then I also have 
this leftover fabric, this beautiful, beautiful jersey. Um, where was this from? This is bamboo jersey. Uh, I believe this was meter meter. Yeah, this was a meter meter remnant, same thing. And I got a skirt out of it and I have this left over and this would be just so nice for a light bra or a light pair of underwear with some, you know, cotton lining um, where needed. Okay, so those are the 10 patterns that I definitely want to make this summer. Um, it's been so fun pulling out my summer wardrobe and going through some things. I've made a pile to donate. I've made a pile to um, to rework, and you'll see that in an upcoming episode. Um, a couple things I've passed on to my daughters. I sometimes feel like, oh, and I, and I sometimes get comments, <laughs> not from sewists, but from other people of, don't you have enough clothes? Or um, you have so many clothes and I do have lots of clothes, but for me, the making process is about far more than having clothes, right? It's about stress relief, it's about creativity, it's having an outlet. And so I'm fine with continuing to make clothes because I know that the things that I make will continue to live on and I'll make sure they live on and I'm not, you know, hoarding them or anything like that. But the process of learning and the process of making, for me, this is, this is it. Okay guys, so let me know if there are any patterns that you're planning to make this summer, things you have on your list, if any of these patterns appeal to you and if you're planning to head over and have a look at them. Of course, as always, they will be linked in the description box below. And that's all for me. I hope that wherever you are, the sun is shining and you are sewing and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Monkey, say look what a big girl I am. Don't eat my hair, please. What? Say hello. Say I'm a big girl now. I'm a great big dog. Psst, 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 psst.